What's up, y'all? It's Scott based here, Sup With Scott. Some of you have been following my channel for a while and you know that I used to be Paddle the Florida Keys, which is the name of the shop here. And then I changed it to Sup Sojourner, but that was hard for people to spell. So now it's just Sup With Scott. And I'm really excited about what's coming up uh, on my new, new and relaunched YouTube channel. So uh, some of you have been around for a while and you've seen some of the stuff that I've gotten into and some of you are new to the channel and uh, welcome. And I hope to share some of the knowledge I've gained. I, I paddle about anywhere from three to 3,500 miles a year. Uh, next year, I'm trying to really ratchet that up and go 4,000 miles. My plan is to be racing for about over 2,000 of those 4,000 miles. So I got a couple of really big events coming up next year and uh, I'll be sharing more of that in subsequent videos. But for today, I just want to introduce myself and, and show you the board that I'll be using for the next year, um, at least. So this is the 2022 SIC Atlantis. And actually it's a 2021 model, but it's the same model for 2022. And it's a 14 by 26 that I've customized and I'm gonna go over some of the customizations with you. So like I said, this is a 2021 SIC Atlantis 14 by 26. The Atlantis was really designed for rough water use and big ocean challenges. It's got a more deeper drop deck than the RS does. Uh, we're going to also do a comparison on another video of the between the RS and the uh, Atlantis. So for this video, we're just going to go over the modifications that I made to my Atlantis that I'll be using for my long distance racing over the next course of a year or so. And then we'll see what happens after that. So this is the board and um, you may have already noticed that I've made several changes to it. We'll just go back up here to the nose and we'll just work our way back from the front of the board to the back, okay? So the first thing I did was I put a bow line attachment right on the front and this gives me a place to tie off if I get to a dock or whatever or when I'm camping every night anywhere regardless of whether I'm on land or anywhere I always tie my board off it's just a habit and I think it's a good one especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere if you lose your board then you're not going to go anywhere right behind that is a GoPro mount that's that's uh, built into the board so I didn't have to use an adhesive on that one but this one is the one I use to attach my light systems to. So I have a red and a green light that I can attach to right here. And that way, if I'm paddling in places that are very crowded with boats, I'll put that red and green light on. Otherwise, I don't travel with the light at all. I just keep my flashlight handy, which is all the Coast Guard requires me to do. A little further back, I have this other GoPro mount here. And this is actually for mounting my GPS speedometer on. So I don't... Um, there's a lot of different speedometers out there and there's you know i also have the the garmin watch on my wrist but if you have to stop and look at a speedometer you don't know how fast you're going because you start slowing down a little bit further back on the board i have my my uh forward gear station so this is going to be where i put my bags for the the front loading of the bags and i have uh several attachments here i'd like to keep my attachments a little closer together and i'll show you why when i go to put a bag on them in a little bit but if I have my attachments this close together, then it makes it a lot easier and quicker to rig. I also have a piece of, piece of this foam decking here just to keep stuff from sliding around and keep from scratching up the deck. A little bit further back, I got the stock bungees that come in the board already. And this is the, this is the leash I've been using. I really like this leash for many reasons. Um, it's just a bungee, you know, that's all you need. I got this knot tied in it here so that if I get to a post, I can wrap it around the post and use it as a, a dock line as well for, you know, for a temporary short, short term dock line. Now, one of the other things that I do that I really like that I've done on the last couple of long distance boards, I've also added an extra piece of this. This is quarter inch thick dual density foam. And I added this piece on the, on there where I stand and kneel because Sometimes when you're paddling for 750 miles or a thousand miles, there'll be days when you have to kneel maybe even all day long. And so you want to really be comfortable on your knees. I wore knee pads for a while, but uh, this works a lot better. This is a, a nicer padding for your feet and for your, 
knees and then it enables me to stand up and not have my feet hurt as much. It's also long like this because when I'm kneeling, my feet are back here and this uh, keeps my toes from getting in this kind of rough deck pad area right here. Then you also see there's a series of, of gear attachment points back here. This will become more obvious once I show you how the front works. The back works just the same, but it's really nice and quick way to get your gear on and off the board. Sometimes you have to go fast and, and get stuff on because of conditions like there may be surf, it may be uh, swift water, it may be just a slippery bank that you have to throw all your stuff in the water and then get back on the board and, and gather it up and put it on the board as you float down the river. That's, <laughs> that's happened before. Then in the back here, I've got this little handle here. This is just for lifting. And it's also, uh, you know, just to, to hold onto the board. Sometimes if you have a whole load, you might want to lift it from the front and the back with the two-person lift or whatever. And then I have my another GoPro mount back here for my white light for the back. And then some, some, some reflective tape there. I've also got reflective tape on the side right here. And I've got reflective tape up here at the bow as well. So I have two pieces on the bow. I also have reflective tape on my paddle. It's, I don't have it with me today, but uh, that, that gives me a good all around uh, safety with uh, boats coming out at night with their lights on. Okay, so I wanna go over how I rig the board up for carrying a load. I just kind of figured this out today. I take my bungees and I used a couple of zip ties and made a loop, which is a lot cleaner than just making a knot. And it's also really easy just to cut them off. Now these bungees haven't been cut exactly to length yet. They're a little bit long, but um, what I use is a carabiner on one end. And I like these little S carabiners by Night Eyes. They're nylon, they're lightweight, and they, they seem to hold up pretty good in salt water conditions. At the other end, I really like this. This is another Night Eyes product. This is a carabiner, but it's got like a little cam in there. So you can just adjust the length of the bungee to whatever you want, lock it in, and it stays. So if you want to make it shorter, you just pull it tighter, and then it holds up really good. So this is pretty cool little, little doodad that I really like using. It's, uh, it's made by Night Eyes, and it's called, uh, I don't know what they call this thing. But anyways, you can find them at nighteyes.com and it'll hold anywhere from a two millimeter to a five millimeter piece of line. So that's pretty versatile. And it just hooks on the front here or the back, whichever way. It might be easier to have it on the back with the extra bungee, but anyway, I got it this way for now. So I got two bungees, I got two of them, one on each side. And when I wanna go lo load my board, uh, my bag on my board, I just take my bag, put it like the, oh, I forgot to show you this. I got two carabiners in the middle here. They don't have anything in them right now but they come into play once you put the bag on. And I usually leave them where the top is up like this. So I put my bag on just like this. And then I just reach over here like this. Put it on this bungee right here, on this carabiner here. Reach over the other side like this. Put it on this carabiner right here. Now my bag is secure. So this has been working really good for me. I've been using it this way for the last couple of trips that I've done. You can adjust the bungees to be tighter or looser. And I like to leave a little extra. That way, if I decide to put more stuff under there and I want to loosen it up a little bit, I can loosen it up. That's uh, been working out real good. It's a quick, clean, easy way to put your gear on there. And then you can get it off as well really easy. And that's, that's sometimes that's crucial as well, just getting it off and not monkeying around, especially at the end of the day when you're tired. You just pull one bungee off there, you pull one bungee off there. It's a whole lot easier than the sliding it up under the bungee method, which is what we used to do. It used to be your bungee was just secured like this right here and you had to tuck everything up under it. But now you got this nice clean method. It does require a little bit of hardware, but basically you're just gonna lay it over the top, clip it in like that, lay it over the top, clip it in like that, and you're done. So one of the other things I really like about the Atlantis with the drop deck is that it's easy to carry when it's loaded up. So if you have to move it around or whatever, 
because you have the drop deck, you got the regular handle, but you also have just the side as well. So you can just pick it up by the side and then that way you can adjust it based on where the weight is. You can adjust the balance point of the board just by picking it up in a different place. Now this works pretty good if you're not going too far. You're not gonna to wanna to carry it for a long ways like this, but it's pretty cool to have that availability as well. So this is, uh, this is the, the way I carry it when I've got like a load and I'm trying to get, sometimes if it's really rough, you have to get loaded up and then walk through a little bit of roughness and then get, get the board in the water. So this, this really helps a lot for that.